Quick action from Chicago City Council today regarding centers where children separated at the border are sent. Aldermen say they're not getting enough information from the nonprofit Heartland Alliance. And as CBS 2's Vince Girasoli reports, the city's taking steps to make sure they get it. They're smiling here, but two Brazilian boys separated from their families at the border told stories of being isolated and yelled at, one even placed in a cast without a doctor's care, while sheltered at one of five Heartland Alliance centers in Chicago. I have a facility in my ward. I didn't even know that it was a facility that was taking in these children. Aldermen have since been frustrated by Heartland's inability to quickly provide basic information. Saying they're constrained by federal guidelines, Heartland was slow to reveal the locations where they house children separated from their families and sent here as a result of President Trump's zero tolerance border policy. We're talking about X number of children, and we still don't know what that number is, whether it's 66 or whether it's 73. Acting swiftly today, council approved a measure that would, for starters, require Heartland and other child care institutions to provide personnel contact information, addresses, the average number of children housed, and their ages. We are going to do inspections, and I think that's a good thing to do, to find out if the facilities that are taking care of these kids are adequate enough to be safe. There won't be this mystery of, oh, we can't give you information because the federal government is prohibiting us from, from doing that. Now, in a written response, the organization said Heartland Alliance has no objection to additional oversight. And we also just learned that today, Cardinal Blaise Supich toured one of Heartland's facilities and he prayed with the children. He said that we should be grateful for the many dedicated people who care for them in these circumstances. The visit came, however, about a month after his first request, Erica. Okay. Thank you, Vince.